Does it feel like time is slipping through your fingers like sands through the hourglass? Like you just don't have enough time to do the things you want to do. It doesn't matter if you're just chilling out, watching TV, running a couple of errands, or editing a YouTube video. You check the clock and it's nearly time to go to bed. Days blur into weeks, months into years, and the once distant future seems to be hurtling towards you at an alarming pace. That, that can't be right. Something's got to be wrong. So I checked online to see if that was normal. Apparently, <laughs> I'm not the only one sensing it. On top of that, there's a mind-bending explanation behind this strange phenomenon that I never even considered. What I found out made complete sense and, at the same time, was utterly staggering. It feels like time is speeding up, as if my life is in fast forward. I've noticed this recently and wanted to talk about it. Time is one of the universe's most mysterious elements. We can't see, hear, touch, or influence it, yet it controls our lives. Defined as a non-spatial continuum, Time is measured by events from past to future, moving linearly in one direction. Time perception is the subjective experience of time, influenced by various factors. From phone usage to CERN to the quickening, we're going to explore some theories on why time feels like it's accelerating. Some will be familiar, while others will make you think, what the fuck? Let's start with some background on time. 400 atomic clocks globally calculate international atomic time, a standard for coordinated universal time, UTC. Devices like laptops, smartphones, use UTC for auto-syncing, unlike battery-powered wall clocks or manually set car clocks, which don't constantly check with UTC. Animals can tell day from night, but don't know the exact time. They don't give a shit. Humans, however, need to know the time and use calendars to track days. Ironically, knowing the time can make it feel like it's passing faster. This perception intensified in 2012 coinciding with the end of the Mayan calendar, marking a noticeable shift in how we experience time. That's when everything changed. All kinds of things contribute to the sensation that time is moving faster. These experiences often revolve around the ways we perceive engage with and reflect on the passage of time. When our daily lives become routine and repetitive, our brains tend to compress these experiences, making them seem shorter in hindsight. Days filled with familiar activities blend together and as a result, months or even years can seem to pass in the blink of an eye. As folks get older, each year represents a smaller fraction of their total life. For a five-year-old, a year is one-fifth of their life. In contrast, for a 40-year-old, a year is one-fortieth of their life, causing it to feel shorter. Some theorize this explains why older individuals often feel like time is accelerating. However, there are many teenagers some as young as 13, saying that time seems to be moving too fast. So it's not just older folks that are noticing it. The rapid pace of technological advancements and the constant influx of information from digital devices can make time feel like it's speeding up. With smartphones, social media, 
and the internet providing a continuous stream of updates, notifications, and information, our attention is frequently fragmented, making it hard to keep track of time. Modern lifestyles often involve juggling multiple responsibilities, from work and family to social obligations and personal interests. This constant multitasking can create a sense of urgency and a feeling that there is never enough time to accomplish everything, thus giving the impression that time is moving faster. Doing activities that fully capture our attention and interest can cause time to feel like it's flying by. This phenomenon, known as flow, occurs when we are so absorbed in what we're doing that we just lose track of time. Stress and anxiety can significantly alter our perception of time. When we're anxious or stressed, we often focus on the immediate future and the tasks at hand, which can make time feel compressed. The heightened state of alertness associated with stress can cause us to perceive time as passing more quickly than it really is. Our perception of time is also influenced by how we remember the past. Events that are rich in detail and emotional significance tend to be remembered more vividly, making periods of time that lack such events seem shorter by comparison. As we look back, years filled with notable events feel longer, while those with fewer memorable experiences seem to have passed quickly. The regular occurrence of seasons and annual milestones, like birthdays and holidays, can create a cyclical perception of time. As these events come around seemingly faster each year, they contribute to the feeling that time is accelerating. Consider how technology might be influencing our perception of time. For instance, clocks that aren't auto-synced to a time zone, like a battery-powered wall clock or the clock in the car radio, tend to get a few minutes behind compared to clocks on phones or computers. I've noticed this myself because my wall clock is a pain in the ass to hang back up. This discrepancy might make one wonder if our devices are subtly altering our perception of time. I think they are. However, the actual perception of time remains subjective, as humans perceive time in their own way. The more attention we pay to time, the slower it appears to pass. On the other hand, Time seems to speed up when we aren't thinking about it, like when you're having a good time with loved ones. Interestingly, we're exposed to more information in a single day than people in the late 1800s were exposed to in seven or eight years. This overwhelming amount of information could be a factor in our perception of accelerated time. Our perception of time known as chronoception, has been a subject of curiosity for millennia. 2,500 years ago, Aristotle noted that time is the most unknown of all unknown things. Humans define time through units of measurement, like days and years, based on the Earth's rotations. But these units don't necessarily make sense anywhere else in the universe. I remember childhood summers that seemed to go on forever, compared to the swift flipping through the yearly pages of adulthood. Right now, it seems like time is moving at a breakneck pace. Even though concerns about the pace of modern life have existed for centuries, even back to the French Revolution, Research by McLaughlin indicates that our perception of time is further distorted by technology. Their studies compared groups constantly connected to technology with those who rarely used it and found that heavy tech users overestimated the passage of time. This discrepancy causes stress and a feeling that time is running out. 
<laughs> Even brief exposure to tech-related stimuli, like reading an ad for an iPad, can prime us to perceive time as moving faster. Now that's a trip. McLaughlin says that this effect is due to our attempts to emulate the speed and efficiency of technology, increasing our internal pacemaker that measures time. This supports the advice to detach from technology once in a while to slow down our perception of time. There's a scientific basis for this recommendation. Taking a break from the constant digital influx can help us stop and smell the roses, grounding us in a slower, more manageable pace of life. So what are some theories as to what the fuck's going on? Well, some are pretty logical and mundane, while others <laughs> are straight up out of this world. Understanding how humans perceive time is a multifaceted exploration involving psychological, neuroscientific, and cultural theories. Let's dig into some of these theories to get a clearer picture of what the fuck's really going on. The psychological clock theory states that humans have an internal clock that regulates our perception of time. Like waking up two minutes before the alarm goes off. Man, I hate that shit. This internal clock ticks at a rate influenced by various factors, such as attention, arousal, and sensory input. When we're highly alert or focused on an activity, the clock ticks faster, making time seem to pass quickly. Conversely, when we're bored or disinterested, the clock ticks more slowly, causing time to drag. Another critical factor in time perception is attention. This theory suggests that the way we give our attention significantly influences our sense of time. When we're deeply focused on a task, fewer mental resources are available to process the passage of time, making it seem to fly by. On the other hand, when we're waiting for something or watching the clock, our attention is more acutely focused on time itself, causing it to slow down. This underscores the role of our engagement in shaping our experience of time. Emotions can dramatically alter our perception of time. During stressful or fucked up situations, time often seems to slow down. This phenomenon is due to heightened arousal and focus, where our brain processes more detailed information. For example, when arachnophobes are forced to stare at spiders for 45 seconds, they perceive this duration as much longer than it actually is. On the contrary, positive and enjoyable experiences can make time feel like it's passing more quickly. Studies show that the brain regions involved in processing emotions interact with time perception networks showing the interplay between emotion and time. Dr. David Eagleman, a prominent neuroscientist, explores the concept of brain time, which is the subjective measurement of time as opposed to actual clock time. Eagleman conducted experiments to determine if people's brains really slow down their perception of the world during life-threatening situations. In one experiment, participants experienced a 100-foot freefall on an amusement ride. They wore wristwatches that flashed numbers too quickly to be seen under normal conditions. If fear slowed their perception, they would be able to see those numbers during the fall. However, none could do so. Afterwards, participants estimated their fall time as significantly longer than it actually was. Eagleman concluded that in frightening situations, the brain records more details, creating a denser memory. When revisited, these epic memories make the experience seem longer than it was. 
The holiday paradox explains why time seems to pass quickly in the moment, but feels longer when you look back on it. When we're young, everything is new, and we continuously learn and experience things for the first time, which our brain encodes as primary memories. As we age, life becomes more routine and predictable, and the brain records fewer details, making time seem to pass more quickly. By keeping the brain active with new experiences and learning, we can alter our perception of time and make life feel fuller and longer. For example, I'm going to flash some pictures up. Tell me which one was put up longer. Ready? All right, which one was it? If you said the cat, well, <laughs> you're wrong. Each picture was put up for the same amount of time. No bullshit. This fucked with me too. This psychological phenomenon occurs when the brain encounters familiar stimuli. Once the brain recognizes a pattern or familiar stimulus, like the shoe, it expends less energy identifying it, making the experience seem shorter. In contrast, different stimuli, like the picture of the cat, requires more cognitive processing and appears to stay on the screen longer. I know, it's a trip, right? Biological rhythms, such as circadian rhythms, also influence time perception. The brain's primary day-to-day -day clock located in the hypothalamus, regulates our sleep-wake cycle and daily rhythms. Disruptions to these rhythms, such as jet lag or shift work, can distort time perception. Research shows that our sense of time is closely linked to these biological rhythms, affecting everything from sleep patterns to our performance throughout the day. Time dilation, a concept from Einstein's theory of relativity, describes how time can appear to move at different rates, depending on the relative speed and gravity of observers. Though primarily a physical phenomenon, time dilation has intriguing psychological implications. Studies have shown that high-stress situations, such as near-death experiences, can produce a feeling of time slowing down. It's a psychological form of time dilation. This effect is thought to result from the brain processing information more quickly or thoroughly during emergencies. Cultural and social factors also shape our perception of time. Different cultures have varying attitudes toward time, with some viewing it as linear and others as cyclical. These cultural perspectives influence how folks experience and value time. Social norms and expectations, such as punctuality and time management practices, further modify our experiences. Modern technology, particularly the rise of digital media and constant connectivity, heavily impacts time perception. The constant stream of information and rapid pace of technological advancements create a sense of urgency and a feeling that time is accelerating. Research indicates that heavy technology users often perceive time as moving faster due to the fragmented and fast-paced nature of digital interactions. A psychologist found evidence that constant technology use makes our brains more efficient at processing information, tricking us into thinking time is passing faster than it really is. While this efficiency can help us work faster, it also makes us feel like the pressure's on. In summary, the scientific exploration of time perception reveals a complex interplay of psychological, emotional, and cultural factors from internal clocks and awareness mechanisms to the impact of technology and cultural attitudes, understanding how we perceive time involves a many-sided approach.
As research continues to evolve, our grasp of this intricate phenomenon will undoubtedly deepen, shedding more light on one of the most fundamental aspects of human existence. However, <laughs> there are some very plausible supernatural theories that will blow your mind. Those are some very possible theories. Hell, I can see how many of those concepts could ring true. On the flip side of the coin, there's also some wild fringe theory shit at play here. The Earth's rotation, measured by atomic clocks since 1973, has been steadily slowing down, but recently began speeding up. This change might signal a 50-year period of shorter days. In 2020, Earth experienced 28 of the shortest days in the past 50 years. On July 26, 2022, Earth set a record by completing a rotation 1.5 milliseconds under 24 hours, resulting in a negative leap second to align clocks with UTC. The previous record was on July 19, 2020, with a rotation 1.4 milliseconds shorter than 24 hours. Now, although 1.5 milliseconds seems insignificant, it highlights recent fluctuations in Earth's rotational speed. The exact cause of this variation is unknown, but could be due to factors like glacier melting, reducing polar weight, the motions of Earth's molten core, seismic activity, and the movement of geographical poles. This acceleration affects the atomic clocks used in GPS satellites, which don't account for changes in Earth's rotation. A faster spin means Earth reaches the same position slightly earlier, with a half millisecond difference translating to 10 inches at the equator. Consequently, GPS satellites already corrected for space-time curvature may be inaccurate and useless. Switzerland's Large Hadron Collider LHC, is often dubbed a time machine for its ability to replicate conditions from the universe's early stages. Its most notable achievement has been the discovery of the Higgs boson in 2012, a particle theorized since the 1960s. The Higgs boson, arising from the Higgs field, grants mass to certain particles influencing the weak nuclear force. The LHC, a 27-kilometer long particle accelerator, raises questions about its capability to enable time travel, like making matter radiation, or information traversed through time. In 2009, two physicists suggested that something from the future might have caused initial operational failures of the LHC, an idea reminiscent of the grandfather paradox, where someone goes back in time to try to kill their grandfather, but would be inherently stopped by natural forces to make sure nothing changes. Einstein's general relativity supports the concept that space-time geometry could allow time travel if the conditions are right. Different universes might enable journeys with a negative net travel time. You can also do this the other way around and simply pick a time machine solution, like a wormhole for example, and try to figure out what kind of stuff would be needed to generate it. Although you're going to need some pretty exotic shit, physically unrealistic material to produce the right shape. Thomas Weiler and Chu Man Ho from Vanderbilt University proposed that Higgs boson production could yield Higgs singlets, particles that might travel in a fifth dimension, moving backward in time. Their hypothesis, grounded in M theory, states that our four-dimensional universe is part of a larger 11-dimensional framework. 
Higgs singlets interacting solely with gravity might bypass traditional paradoxes and potentially convey messages across time, like sending a text to the past. The LHC's capabilities extend beyond particle physics, potentially impacting our understanding of dimensions and time. While full-fledged time travel remains speculative, controlled production of Higgs singlets could allow information to be sent across time, presenting profound implications. As the LHC continues to push scientific boundaries, the future may reveal more about these tantalizing possibilities. The quickening, where time seems to speed up, has sparked debate among scientists, philosophers, and the public. Although no definitive explanation exists, several theories offer insights into this experience. One theory suggests that the fabric of space-time itself might be shifting, possibly due to the universe's expansion, dark matter or energy, or an unknown force. If true, the quickening would be an objective change in the flow of time throughout the cosmos, not just a personal feeling. The implications of the quickening are profound, potentially altering our understanding of physics, our relationship with the past and future, and our sense of reality. Moreover, ethical considerations about manipulating or controlling this phenomenon could emerge, along with questions about its significance. Additional theories include the simulation hypothesis, suggesting we live in a computer simulation that's being sped up, and the multiverse theory, where our universe interacts with another where time flows differently. The quantum Zeno effect claims that simply observing a system can affect its behavior potentially speeding up time due to our awareness of it. Ancient prophecies and indigenous traditions also acknowledge changes within the Earth affecting our perception of time. Symptoms like migraines, tiredness, and intense dreams may be linked to these shifts. The heartbeat of the Earth's surface, known as the Schumann resonance, has increased from 7.8 hertz to over 12 hertz since 1980, making a 24-hour day feel like 16 hours. This rise in frequency aligns with predictions from the Mayan prophecy, suggesting that our DNA is being reprogrammed from two-strand back to 11-strand DNA, leading to greater intuitive and healing abilities. Here's some signs you're in the quickening phase of awakening. Life speeds up and seems to get faster. Feeling physically worn out and not sleeping soundly. Increase in non-physical support, uh, sensing your spirit guides are present. Difficulty staying focused due to being overwhelmed. Releasing long-held issues or just letting go of old problems. Meeting with people you vibe with new opportunities and endeavors filling your day. Understanding the quickening involves unraveling the mysteries of time perception, brain processing, and environmental changes all at the same time. This phenomenon challenges our understanding of reality and prompts us to consider our place in the universe. As we continue to study it, we may unlock some of the universe's deepest secrets. Ultimately, the cause of the quickening remains a mystery. But one thing is certain, it's a phenomenon worth exploring further. As we confront the enigma of time perception, we are drawn into a realm of the unknown, the quickening with its ominous implications, cast a shadow over our understanding of reality. Amidst the theories and speculation, a sense of foreboding looms. 
The quickening signals not just a speeding up of time, but a disintegration of the fabric of our existence. Theories abound, suggesting that our perception of time is warping, that the very essence of reality is crumbling before us. It's, it's as if the whole fucking universe is unraveling, leaving us hanging in a void of uncertainty. The signs of the quickening, accelerated life, spiritual turmoil, and existential dread are harbingers of a darker truth, a world teetering on the edge of chaos, where the lines between past, present, and future blur into one giant shit show. With each passing moment, we feel the weight of time bearing down on us suffocating us with its relentless pressure. The ticking of the clock becomes a constant reminder of our fast approaching fate. As we grapple with the implications of the quickening, we're haunted by questions that offer no support. The unraveling of time threatens to consume us, leaving only darkness in its wake. In the end, whether time is a construct of our minds or a force beyond our comprehension, the darkness of the quickening reminds us of our vulnerability when staring down the unknown. Does it feel like time is speeding up on you? Does it feel like New Year's was six months ago? Let me know in the comments. If you liked this video, don't forget to tap that like button and subscribe. I really appreciate it. That way you won't miss out on more straight up weirdness. I've got some pretty kick ass merch. <laughs> I designed it myself. The links in the description. Get yourself a stay creepy mug, a t-shirt, some toilet paper or a sticker. <laughs> okay. Okay. No toilet paper. At least not yet. Don't tempt me though. Until next time, y'all keep it real, keep it chill, and stay creepy! Catch you on the flip. Thank you for watching and listening until the very end. You kicked total ass.